for people who don't believe, today what we're celebrating is absolutely crazy. Even the name, Triumph of the Cross, it makes no sense. It's like saying the exaltation of the electric chair or, or the glory of the gallows. Now, many of us wear crosses around our necks or have a crucifix hanging in a prominent place in our homes. But if we wore a noose or had one hanging above our beds, our neighbors, our friends would think we were very weird and would probably call the police. For decades, Catholic school children have penciled a, a small cross on the top of their homework pages. And if one of them drew an electric chair there instead, he would be on his way to the principal's office, to the school counselor, very quickly. The cross was an instrument of torture, a means of capital punishment. There is little to celebrate about the cross, little triumph in it, except through the one who accepted it, except through the one who carried it for our salvation, except for the one who stretched out his arms upon it, the one who defeated its ugliness and made it glorious by rising from the dead. He makes this day a feast instead of a disaster. And, and for that reason, when we take up our own crosses and follow him, when we offer up our own struggles, our aches, our pains, our disappointments, our hurts to the Father, through him, well, then those crosses become a triumph as well. Because in the exact same way, the Lord Jesus turned the tragedy of the cross into triumph. Doesn't he transform our lives as well into offerings that are pleasing to his Father and ours? God love you.